Hello, welcome, and thank you for joining me. This is the last known image of David Call, an African-American Civil War hero born in Oyster Bay in 1845. Carl and other men of freedom fought for the North against the South to abolish slavery. The legend of David Carl is a hidden footnote in the small Long Island community. Mr. Downing shook David's hand and said, you are now part of the best fighting army in the world. Godspeed to you. I'll see you on January 2nd. Thank you, Mr. Downey, and many Merry Christmas to you. In the book, The Footsteps of a Forgotten Soldier, The Life and Times of David Carl, the direct descendants of David Carl chronicles his remarkable journey from his birth to the path to the historic Carl Hill in Oyster Bay. We've been on the same uh, property for the 150th year um, since the Civil War. Denise Evans Shepard is referring to a piece of important history, forgotten history, in the heart of Oyster Bay that involves her family. Well, we want to be able to share our story with everyone. Shepard heard the historical stories as a young girl. As she got older, she did her own research. Her great-great-grandfather, David Call, was a free black man in the slave era who, along with other free black men in 1863, voluntarily enlisted to fight in the war. After his return from the war in 1865, Carl and several other black soldiers came back to live in Oyster Bay. The small northern town was 17 percent African-American. Today, the population is less than 1 percent. I find it fascinating. You know, I, I love it, you know, because not that many stories did you hear growing up in schools, you know, about people of color that actually contributed to the society. The only thing you heard was that they were slaves. David Call has been buried in the Pine Hollow Cemetery since 1910. Call used his wartime earnings to establish his family roots in Oyster Bay. The family has been there for generations since 1865 to the present time, and I currently live in his home. Shepard would like for the home to be designated as a historical site. She is now the director of the Oyster Bay Historical Society, living and working in the town, as her great-great-grandfather had done over 150 years ago. Denise Evans Shepard, along with her cousin Francis Call, the great-great-grandson of David Call, co-authored the book Footsteps of a Forgotten Soldier that details and chronicles the life of the family on Call Hill. 